things are jumping off the page at me. Look at some of the guys that are trading at $50. I just got done doing a deep dive on running backs, correlating fantasy production with rookie card values, and you're not gonna believe what I found. Christian McCaffrey's base rookie card and his optic rookie card has gone up from $5 per rookie card to now around $15. And I'm super excited just in the course of two weeks, not because he's on the Carolina Panthers. I think the Panthers stink and Vegas has only got them pre uh, predicted to win five and a half games this year. But Christian McCaffrey is a fantasy football workhorse. He could easily go out and be the number one producer this year. We're talking one of my favorite positions in the game. And if you can get a bell cow, that's going to get tons of media hype this year due to his fantasy football, aka on-field performance. Let's dig in. So some of the first things that I look at when analyzing a running back scenario and determining his opportunity for this year before I correlate that with his rookie card price, I want to make sure that he is not in competition with other running backs on his team. So I do not like the teams that favor the three-headed monster are constantly rotating out running backs. So I'm looking for red zone carry opportunity. I'm also looking at the team scenario to look at their run to pass ratio. And then of course I'm looking at their athletic metrics. I want to see their Spark X score, which is Nike's speed power, agility, reaction, and quickness. Guys that have an equal speed but a higher body weight and height will get a higher score. They're gonna be more powerful. So then I'm looking at red zone carries, I'm looking at yards created. Yards created is a cool one because it's how many yards of the running back create after the first evaded tackle, after the initial blocking at the line, and then it's breakaway runs. How many runs did they have over 15 yards? And that's big because those lead to huge highlights and huge press and media coverage throughout the season. So before we dig into who these players are and what their rookie cards are currently trading at right now, I wanna give a couple special shout outs to some new pioneers. I think I'm gonna start calling us pioneers because we're on a quest. A lot of this is uncharted territory and uh, we're also treasure hunters, right? Luke F73, Body in Beta, Jeffrey Whitler, Don't Pop Believin'. Yes, and I wanna give a very special shout out to Aaron Escanilla, because Aaron Escanilla has been in a card market for a very long time. He's got a lot of experience in the sports card market, and he initially approached me and told me I need to separate fantasy from sports cards and gave me an example from a few years ago when everybody wanted to draft Todd Gurley on their fantasy team, but he did not pan out as a good sports card investment. And uh, Aaron and I have been communicating back and forth and his disagreement inspired me to create the last video that I did to really draw clear lines of where fantasy overlaps with football cards and where it doesn't. And I think disagreement is important in a positive sense as he wasn't bashing me, he was simply giving me his experience and letting me know that there definitely needs to be clear lines drawn. So if you guys have been watching my video, you know that I am bullish on Ryan Tannehill because of what he did last year. And if you remember, one thing I said about him is that defenses have to play to stop the run. Well, who is the Tennessee Titans bell cow running back? None other than Derrick Henry. And if you look at Derrick Henry's core metrics, they're off the charts. He is a beast of a human being. And his most comparable player is Zanji from Street Fighter. I mean, come on, you cannot get any more badass than that. Zanjeev is a beast all in of his own, and for that to be his most comparable player speaks volumes about this guy. And when we look at his yards created, we look at his breakaway runs, we look at the offensive line of the Titans, we look at his lack of competition in the backfield, we look at his red zone carries, and right now you can get his 2016 Panini Prism Raw Rookie card for around $30, his optic even around $5. And if you compare that guy to a Zeke Elliott, which in my opinion, if I am even number one overall pick in the draft, I'm going Derrick Henry. And for the price compared to some other guys that I'm seeing now climbing, like a Zeke, like a Kamara, like a Christian McCaffrey, I am on him all day. And I actually just bought uh, off of eBay a lot of his cards 
three optic rookies, one silver prism rookie for $50. I think that's a phenomenal deal in my opinion. The second guy I'm gonna talk about is by far the most undervalued rookie card of a running back in the National Football League right now with his upside and potential and what he's done on the field. This guy is a highlight machine. And I'm talking about Nick Chubb on the Cleveland Browns. Nick Chubb has got insane breakaway ability. He's got the most last year, the most breakaway runs out of any running back. He has Kareem Hunt in the backfield, but Kareem Hunt is not a threat to Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb is the clear number one runner. Look at his red zone rushing attempts. And every time that guy has gotten the ball since he stepped on an NFL field, he has made incredible plays. There's so many funny fantasy names out there uh, around Nick Chubb, you know? And right now, his raw prism rookie card is trading around $4, guys. $4, I know, it sounds unbelievable, but he's under the radar. And um, I've been selling some Odell Beckham cards. There is visibility on the Browns. Baker Mayfield has a pretty big social media presence. The Browns have a 50-50 run to pass ratio. They don't fully trust Baker, and he's been proven to be inaccurate in some under pressure situations. And so they're definitely gonna be relying on Nick Chubb. He's going to get his opportunities in the middle of the field, in the red zone, and he's gonna have breakaway plays. If you saw the highlights from Nick Chubb the last two years, I saw him live in Tampa. The guy is an incredible downfield runner. A rookie prism card at $4 is absolutely insane in my opinion and I am buying every single one I can find up to my budget of course. <laughs> so there's still plenty more out there for you guys to buy. I probably bought, you know, realistically probably bought about 10, maybe more. We'll see in the in my some of these packages I have over here um, if I've got some more Nick Chubbs in there. I should, I should. Look at some of the guys that are trading at $50. Christian McCaffrey, uh, Ezekiel Elliott, um, Alvin Kamara at 25, Saquon Barkley at 25, and then of course AP is generational in and of himself. He's a lock for the Hall of Fame. Look at this, we got Josh Jacobs in Vegas trading $5 Prism Raw with 44 red zone touches, uh, 27 point, I mean the guy uh, is solid all around with a good O-line out there. I think that's a good investment. The third guy I'm talking about plays for one of the most run heavy teams in the NFL. And this is actually a, to a toss up. The only reason why I picked him over the Seattle Seahawks and Chris Carson because Pete Carroll loves to run the ball as well and that's the one thing that's holding Russell Wilson back from going out and winning an MVP and really being the next uh, Lamar Jackson or Patrick Mahomes is Pete Carroll but the reason why uh, I, I didn't go with Chris Carson in this spot instead of Dalvin Cook on the Minnesota Vikings is because the Seattle Seahawks have been known to spread the ball around to their various running backs. They have Rashad Penny, a potential three-headed running back situation there. And Chris Carson has been banged up at times. Um, and, and so has Dalvin Cook the first year. But since then, he's been really solid. And the guy has some lightning fast breakaway burst ability. And the, and the Vikings are one of the most run heavy teams in the NFL. Their coach absolutely loves to run the ball. Dalvin Cook gets a tremendous opportunity. Last year, he really went out and crushed it. This year, I think he'll do the same. And if you look at his rookie card prices, they are super underpriced. Dude, mark your calendars, September 2nd, coming up just a month and a half away. The new set of base Donruss is being released. Donruss 2020. I'm, I'm working on my grip strength for the season. You can just making that video, can you imagine how much Derrick Henry eats on a daily basis? Or any NFL player for that matter. Uh, but just making that video made me super hungry. But I want to give a couple more shout outs to some kick-ass pioneers that have been here since day one. I'm talking sports and hype. I'm talking the car dojo. Uh, a few more new guys that I also want to give a shout out to that have been providing some great feedback and interaction, uh, being part of the community. Uh, I'm talking about Jamie Anderson, Brian Kingsley, and Danny W. Remember guys, if you want access to that sheet, it is completely free. I am giving it uh, access free to all of my subscribers for the foreseeable future. 
I got a huge super haul on first year optics, a lot of rookie cards. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And then we're gonna flip it back and we're gonna do another deep dive on wide receivers. Um, I'm finding tons of value. I hope to see you guys in that next episode. Peace.